Two American astronauts are currently performing a six and a half hour spacewalk outside the International Space Station. This is a live feed from NASA. Commander Scott Kelly and flight engineer Chell Lindgren will be making their first spacewalks this mission. Kelly is 213 days into his nearly year long mission. CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood is watching this along with us. Bill, let me just ask you, describe the goals of the spacewalk here. What are these two astronauts trying to accomplish? Well, I never like to call anything on a spacewalk routine, uh, but they're doing some basic maintenance on the outside of the space station. They're removing some insulation from one electrical distribution box. They're installing some insulation on a very expensive high-energy physics experiment that's been having some cooling problems, so they hope the insulation will resolve that problem. And I think most important, they're laying out cables today uh, that are needed by some docking mechanisms that are going to be added uh, later. Uh, these are docking mechanisms needed for spaceships being built by Boeing and SpaceX, commercial crew ferry ships, that NASA hopes to start using to send astronauts to and from the station starting in 2017. So this wiring helps clear the way for all of that work. Bill, they're both first-time spacewalkers. What kind of training do astronauts typically have to go through before they head out there? You know, it's interesting. Back in the shuttle days, you know, they would train for spacewalks till the astronauts knew every procedure down to the last comma, the last period on the sentence. For space station, because they're up there for so long and it can be months since their last training on the ground, they've really changed those procedures. So they still get training before they go in their big swimming pool where they can simulate weightlessness. So and then they do a lot of virtual reality training, procedures reviews up aboard the space station uh, to make sure they're familiar with what they're doing. You know, another interesting aspect, uh, this is their first spacewalk, uh, but they've both been up there a long tail. Scott Kelly, of course, is uh, more than 200 days into a nearly year-long mission, and they both said before they went out that they think moving about in weightlessness out there in their suits won't be as big a problem for them as it would be perhaps for someone who just got to the space station. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, well, we know that Chell Lindgren posted video on Twitter of himself setting up his jetpack. Uh, what kind of physical preparations do they take? I know you talked about the training in the pool, um, but, you know, from a, their, their physical standpoint, what is it that they're doing to get ready for a spacewalk like this? You know, it, it's hard to describe to folks who don't follow the space station, but doing a spacewalk is a major event. It requires days and days of testing the spacesuit hardware, making sure everything's working perfectly, reviewing all of these procedures. It's extremely time consuming. And so when you consider they're also trying to do research on the station, they really have to shoehorn these spacewalks in, just given the overhead of all the training required and all the preparations that are required before they can go out the hatch. You know, physically, you know, it's, it's, it's fairly demanding. These are pressurized suits, so your fingers, you know, are always working against that pressure. Uh, but that's really not the issue. It's the, it's the time it takes to get ready to go out the hatch. It's, it's almost like the spacewalk itself is not an afterthought, but, but the big portion of the work is done before they ever leave the space station. Bill, this, uh, this may be kind of a dumb question, but, you know, we, I'm curious, the six and a half hours is a long time to be in space. Are they carrying any food and water with them, you know, blood sugar and all? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, the uh, six and a half hours is the standard duration of a, of a NASA spacewalk. The suits have enough consumables, they call them, air, water, uh, cooling and all of that, battery power, to go as much as eight and a half hours, perhaps, if you really pushed it. Uh, but yes, they have a, a sort of a drinking straw that comes around to their mouth that they can reach over and take a sip when they need to. Uh, I won't speak about the bathroom arrangements unless you really want to. But, uh, well, it's good to know they have them. About, uh, yeah, it's kind of a depends moment if you really think about it that way. Okay. But, uh, uh, but yeah, you know, they, can, they certainly can uh, take sips of water while they're, while they're out there working. You know, Bill, I'm curious. Commander Kelly is someone I follow on Twitter. Uh, I know NASA pushes out his amazing photos um, that he tweets out. They push that out on Instagram as well. Um, he's got about four months left. First of all, what do we know about how he's doing up there? And what else is it that uh, he still has to do in these last four months? Well, let's see. He's 214 days into this mission. It's going to run slightly less than a year. He comes home on March the 3rd of next year. Um, he looks like he's doing great. You know, he does a lot of uh, public affairs events, interviews with uh, reporters and, and school kids on the ground, and he looks like he's doing very well indeed. He, he says that psychologically he's, uh, you know, he's trying to approach this flight a little differently. He's kind of counting up instead of counting down to coming home. And uh, he certainly seems healthy. You know, all astronauts on the station have to exercise two hours a day, uh, either weightlifting or running on a treadmill, uh, that sort of thing. So he certainly looks physically fit. 
he's keeping a journal about his mood, you know, his energy level, how he feels about things, and, and all of that, plus the medical data they're collecting, will be evaluated after the mission uh, to get a better idea of the long-term effects of weightlessness and space radiation, things like that. But he seems like he's doing great. All right. Fascinating to see these astronauts in action, their first spacewalk. We're going to continue to watch these pictures. Bill Harwood, thank you so much for your perspective. Sure thing.